Hello friends, welcome to the part 12 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will create our new Angular project for the front end. Let's begin. I have opened the CLI and already navigated to my require uh, to my desired directory. Next, I'll use the Angular CLI to create my new project. And the command will be ng new. Then the project name will be to do front. And uh, I'll use some options here. The first one is uh, routing set to true. True. Skip tests. I don't want any test file or spec files, so I'll set to true. And my style sheet, I want to use SCSS. With this in place, let's hit the enter button. And they should uh, generate a new project that says NPM version 7. Angular CR temporary requires. Okay, so I need to install the compatible version here. npm install global npm at the rate 6. I, I recently upgraded my npm. I believe that's the reason it was not working. So let's now try this. And it says we want to enforce stricter type checking and stricter bundle budgets in the workspace. This setting helps improve maintainability and catch bugs ahead of time. Uh, let's hit Y. Okay, so it's installing my application. I'll be back when this is finished, right? All right, friends, so we are back and my project has been successfully created. And I it also initialized my Git repository. I'll go to my uh ide i'll close this project from here and i'll open a new one let's say that's the to do front load it in my ide an angular project so just give it a sec to complete the indexing and that is done so here on the left hand side as you can see it's a standard angular project nothing fancy i have the routing module here with no routes and the app module here so this app module has the routing order already imported and this is all done by my cli i have a style sheet here oops not a test file the global style sheet i'll import some uh, css files here later on so as of now, if I go to the terminal and hit uh, npm start, this will run the ng-serve development server. So give, it a, give it a sec to compile the, the project, the first line. And once that is done, then you can go to your browser, go to localhost 4200 and enter so it will automatically show you the default angular page okay still compiling and in the meantime it's loaded and then i can now go here the local host i have two l's here there you go. So this is my front end running the default Angular project. Okay. Now, first of all, I will install some packages okay, using my CLI. So the first one uh, would be the Angular material. Go to Angular material. This is the UI library. Uh, library. Get started and use this command here. Go, paste, and hit enter. This will add the Angular material using Angular CLI. And uh, also, I need the Bootstrap framework. I'll simply use the CSS to lay out my website. I will go to get started. 
and version 4.6 i'm not using 5 here i just need the css here so i'll simply copy the href what i will do i'll save this file as uh, uh, to the front source assets bootstrap main.css simple okay now after this is installed mm -hmm. asking me which theme i want i want a indigo pink yes animations yes this will simply add everything in the uh, required modules go here you see my style css has got these two lines added my app module if i check my app module here has the browser module the animations module everything in place so now in my style.css i can simply go on top and say import bootstrap or not here assets bootstrap main.css this will load the bootstrap library okay also let's quickly create few folders here or few components here so the first component i'll use the cli ngg t or you can type component like this the c is the sh uh, short alias for component and i'll name it home first one is home i'm keeping everything very simple here home then i have a login component then i will have a register component I'll have a folder for services that will clear later. I'll have a to do component and I'll also have the to do module that I I think that's my component list here. And here in a directory, I'll create a directory for services. I'll create a directory for guards. Okay, so I'll create a guard here. Generate a guard here inside this folder using the Angular schematic. This is I'm just laying out the foundation here. I'm not coding anything as of now. So it's my auth card. Okay, so it's again using the Angular CLIs and you generate card auth flat. And I'll choose the can activate done. I'll create only one service that's that will be my API service. Uh, it's here API flat ng generate service API. That's the command. So, with all that in place, and next time, what I will do, I will start working on the home component to lay out the website. Right now, if I go here and remove all these from the app component. And simply say at home. So we'll say my home works. Uh, where is it? Says home works. Okay. So the next video, we will start working on the home component and we'll also see a bit of routing, how we can use the router outlet to navigate to different pages. Okay. So till then, please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please put that in the comment section below. And uh, this code will be available in my GitHub repo. The link you will find in the description of this video. Please stay tuned and I hope you are liking this tutorial series. I will see you in the next part. Thank you and have a wonderful day.